Are you waiting for the housing prices to crash? Are you? Well, then listen on because I'm talking to you. Yes, you. The ones waiting for the home prices to absolutely freaking plummet. Let me break the news to you gently. I'm Ella Gerfinkel, Senior Loan Officer with Fairway Independent Mortgage and Team Ella. I've been in the industry, mortgage industry that is, for now 27 years. Guess what? Home prices, they never go down. My parents bought a house in 1992 for what now would be considered a measly $112,000. Their home currently is worth a lot more than that. Yes, the prices took a dive back in 2007, 2008, 2009 in the Great Recession, as they called it. Really should have been called the Depression, but hey, media loves its thing, therefore it became the Great Recession. Historically, in the last 100 years, there were only two actual recessions when the housing prices tumbled. Otherwise, in every recession in the last 100, let me repeat it again, 100 years, the housing prices actually went up. Those two recessions when the housing prices tumbled in the 1980s, the gas and oil crisis, and 07 through 09. Guess why 07, 09 was so bad? Because the recession was in fact caused by the mortgage and real estate industries and everything else followed. Are the conditions the same economically now? Nope, not even close. What are we looking at now? Back in 07, 08, it was the baby boomers who were buying homes. The new generation was not ready to buy yet. We were basically at the tail end of baby boomers buying, and there was actually a dip in the birth rates and in the family formation rates. So yes, what we saw was very much an anomaly. Now we have the very beginning of the head wave of the millennials entering the home buying market. We're not even talking about baby boomers upsizing or downsizing. We're talking about a generation of millennials that's in the tens of millions. And the very first wave, there is not enough homes to buy. There is not enough homes on the market and the construction industry is not keeping up with the rising demand. Resale homes, well, there is a limited amount of those. And frankly, the people who bought when the rates were in the twos and threes, a lot of them don't need to sell. So they're going to sit on their two and 3% mortgages for some time, some time to come. That will limit the resale. Once again, construction cannot keep up. The construction prices went up. The materials went up. The inflation caused that. So guess what? Supply and demand formula is very much alive and well and kicking. When we don't have enough supply and we have a high demand, the prices don't go down. The prices go up. Whatever your reasons are for thinking that we are going to see the housing prices plummet, I wanna see it in the comments. But I think I just made a case for why you're wrong and the home prices will never go back down again. Like I said, let me go back to my parents' house example. Their home, very much worth a lot more than $112,000 they paid for it in 92. Do you see the home prices going back in time? I don't. Do you see gas prices going back to 99 cents a gallon? I don't. Comment below, let me know what you think. Am I being a little controversial? Hell yes, but hey, I'm blunt, direct, and I tell it like it is. And if you don't like it, too bad. Comment below. See you on the next video and talk to you soon.